Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In the previous video, I have shown you that how you can fetch all the registered user in your MongoDB to your React application and show it inside the table. Now, in this video, I will give the privilege to the admin to delete any of the user by clicking on the delete icon. So for that, our first step will be to show the delete icon in each and every boxes. After that, we have to define a function that will be called when admin click on delete icon and then we will create an API in Node.js which will handle the deletion of the data and at last we will link all of them to make this functionality working. So without any delay, let's get started. So first thing, you have to install these three packages. I have already installed them so that we can use this icon, this trash icon. So I hope you will install all this. Now let's move to the code. First, I will import that trash icon. After that, I will import font awesome icon. So you can see this, both these two are different packages. So you have to install them. Now come here inside this. I will call that font awesome icon. And I will give icon as Let's see whether it is working or not. Yeah. So now the icon has been appeared. Now let's create a function which will be called when admin clicks on this icon. So I will do on click. It will call delete user. Save this. We'll define that function here. For now, I will just alert. Let's see. Okay, let me just click it here. Yeah. Okay. Now let me just create an API to delete the user. So we will go back to the Node.js. I will create an API. I will use try and catch block. Now to delete the user, we will require that unique ID. So I will get the user ID from request.body. After that, I will write here user.delete1. This is the function provided by the MongoDB. Inside it here, I will pass ID which is equal to user ID. So it will check for the data which have ID similar to the user ID provided from by the user. If this is okay, we will call the call the function. If something goes wrong, we will just console.log here error. Yeah. So this will delete the user with this ID. Now we will send the response to our front end. Okay, so let me just explain this. First, we will get the user ID from a request.body. After that, this will delete the data which have the ID similar to this. So if the user has been successfully deleted, then we will get this in response. Otherwise, we will get this error. So let's try this. Now come back to our front end. Here we can just pass the parameter like this. And in parameter, I will pass ID and also the name because we want to pass the ID to our backend to delete the data. You can see here we are receiving the ID. That's why. Okay. Now let's get back to the function. I will receive ID and name. I'm not going to use alert. Instead of alert, I am going to use confirm. Window dot confirm. We will write here. Are you sure you want to delete and the name of the user? 
and I will call something here otherwise something here let's see whether it is working or not okay so suppose if I click on uh, DHFG and you can see are you sure you want to delete unidentified let's see why it is coming unidentified oh sorry I have passed here name you have to pass your F name let's come back again I will click on W and you can see are you sure you want to delete W if use uh, if admin will click on ok it should delete the data now I will call here the fetch function inside if yes this will be called and here I will pass my API name which is delete user I will pass here delete user instead of token I am receiving their user ID and which is my actually ID yes and here I will just console dot not console dot I will directly alert data dot data okay let's see whether it is working or not we'll just come here I will just refresh this once I will delete others at the g.com are you sure you want to delete I press an ok it is it is saying deleted and when, once I will refresh it you can see that my first data is deleted also we can confirm it here if I refresh it now you can see that I have only 18 value previously it was 19 ok to solve the problem that uh, we have to refresh to see the delete what we can do we can just this is my function to get all the users data so what I will do I will just create a new function get all user I will paste it here I will call this function inside use effect and also once my user is deleted I will call this function again let's see whether it will work or not we'll come here okay I, okay sorry can't do like this let's see I'll come here now I will delete this W you can see if I click here are you sure you want to delete cancel so nothing is happened if I click on delete ok you can see deleted ok and my w is gone let's come here refresh this the data should be 17 yeah you can see the data has been deleted so you can see that we have deleted the data in mongodb by using the api created in node.js now in the next video I am going to do the pagination of this list because you can see currently there are not much data but still it is not looking so good so it is necessary for us to apply the pagination so stay tuned for that that's it for this video if you like this video then please like share and subscribe thank you